Hey y'all, this is Rhonda from Rhonda's Country Kitchen and fall is in the air and it is time to whip out all of those uh, chilies and soups and all the little fall get goodies. But today I'm gonna be making some chili. There is nothing more satisfying and hearty on a chilly day. Now, um, I'm just gonna go through what I have. I just do a pretty simple chili. Um, I like mixing my little beans up, but um, I just have one cup of, uh, well, one whole onion. Then I've got a half of a bell pepper. Now, you don't have to use onion and bell pepper if you've got a picky eater and they don't eat it. Um, so you just uh, use what you like. You can do onion powder and or whatever kind of vegetables you can put in it. Um, I've also got some uh, chili beans, and this one is just uh, um, chili flavored pinto beans, and this is the medium. Um, then I've got some kidney beans, just the old red kidney beans, and I like to mix mine up with the, some pork and beans. I like that little bit of sweetness in my chili, just just a, just a touch, nothing major. And um, of course, I've got some tomatoes. Now I got the diced tomatoes. I normally just use um, crushed tomatoes. So I did put these in my food processor and just give them a little whirl. But, um, and of course hamburger meat and um, just any chili season. Um, this is the easy way to go. Just the seasoning mix already done for you or you can mix and match yours. Probably, honestly, you probably have the seasoning in your pantry that you would need. Um, chili powder, some cumin and uh, garlic powder, onion powder, things like that. But we're just gonna go today with the sample uh, little uh, seasoning mix, the little chili mix. There's no uh, sense in getting any expensive one. They all pretty much have the same thing in it, so just get the cheapest. So I'm gonna start sauteing my onion and bell pepper down and um, get this chili started. All right, I'm gonna put about maybe three tablespoons of butter. I'm just gonna give these uh, this onion and bell pepper just a little saute, get them uh, just a little soft before I add my hamburger meat in there. I'm just gonna let that melt down just a bit. And that'll do it. We'll dump my um, whole onion in and a half a bell pepper. All right. Get that going. I do love the smell of onion and bell pepper cooking. It just smells so good. I'm gonna just season this up a little bit. Just gonna go in with a little salt and pepper and uh, a little garlic powder and a little onion powder. Just gonna cook these down and that was about a, a teaspoon of that onion powder and garlic powder real fragrant and you can add some garlic cloves in here as well um that's always delicious i'm out of fresh garlic so this is what we're doing today <laughs> and chili that is a good thing that you just kind of use what you have you don't have to go by no certain recipe you just um you just let the Lord lead you in the kitchen and you'll come out with something, a pot of something really good. So now I've got my hamburger meat here and I didn't let this cook, but now maybe one minute, one or two minutes. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my hamburger meat in here. And y'all already know I use my little fork and I'm also gonna go ahead and put in some water. Um, that's about a half cup of water. And I just want to break that hamburger up to um, make it smooth. Now, if you like the big hunks, honey, you go right ahead for that. Um, sometimes I leave it in hunks, but uh, most of the time I just break it up. If you want a big old hearty uh, chili, you can even use uh, pieces of um, beef or whatever. It doesn't always just have to be hamburger meat. All right, now I'm gonna give this another little season. I should have just waited to season it all, but it is what it is at this point. So we're gonna salt it, 
pepper, just the same little seasoning that we used on the onion and bell pepper. There you go. Now I'm just gonna let this cook down for a minute. Just brown this. Just keep stirring it. Don't want it to stick. Let that brown. All right, it's almost brown. I do have some of this little garlic here. I'm just gonna put in there. Um, I'm gonna put about a teaspoon or so in there. There you go. Just give it some good flavor. I love me some garlic, I really do. It just enhances the flavor of about everything. All right, this, uh, I'm gonna turn that up just a hair. Now I'm gonna start adding my, um, my beans. I'm gonna go ahead and pour them in there. And I don't drain my beans because uh, you get all that good flavor in there. I got the uh, chili beans that just went in there. You can use a variety of whatever kind of beans you want. This is the dark red kidney beans. And I like to see that red, uh, those red beans in there. It just really makes the color pop. And uh, my little sweet ones, my little pork and beans. Now, and I'm gonna go ahead in there with um, my chili powder. Now I have a pretty good size pot. I've got a pound and a half or so of hamburger meat. So um, I'm gonna season it up pretty good. Woo! Season the floor and the stove and everything. But um, I want it to be good and flavorful. So put that one in. Now I'm gonna go in with the second one. And you don't have to go in with the second one, especially if you're making a smaller pot. Um, you can just use the one, or you can just add chili powder from your pantry. Um, just whatever you have on hand. It's already looking good. Now I'm gonna go in with that, uh, those tomatoes. Just gonna put us some tomatoes in there. Now, I will tell you if this seems too soupy after I simmer it, um, I sometimes will just add a little can of tomato paste and that will just thicken it right up if you like a good thick um, chili. But this is all it is to it. Now, I'm just gonna let this simmer and um, get real happy together while I mix up a batch of, uh, or mix up a pan of cornbread to go with this. And so by the time this simmers and the cornbread cooks, it's gonna be ready to go. And that is just how simple um, this is. Now I will tell you, the more you simmer it and the more you love on it, the better it's gonna be. It's just gonna, um, all those flavors are gonna come together and you're gonna be real happy with what you have. Um, now you may or may not want yours to be a little spicy. Um, I'm going to let this simmer just a little while, a little bit, and then I'm gonna add some jalapeno peppers in ours because we like it just just with a little heat. But you can add do some uh, hot sauce to it. Uh, if you got kiddos that don't like heat, you can just leave it like it is. Um, but I'm just gonna let this simmer, and uh, I'm gonna start throwing that cornbread together. Alrighty, I have got my cornbread made. It's been about 20 minutes and I've just let it uh, come to a slow simmer. Now I did um, did not show y'all me putting this in here, but I just used the diced jalapeno uh, peppers, the little pickled ones. And um, I put two tablespoons in mine. Like I said, if you don't like the heat, you do not have to add that or you can add a half a jar. But <laughs> however you like it, just fix it your way. But um, you can see it started to thicken up. And um, like I said, if yours is not real thick, then you can add some, uh, you see the beans in there? <clears throat> 
You can just add some tomato paste. Um, I have added sometimes just a little ketchup for that little sweetness in it. Just, I guess the sugar and the ketchup will thicken it up, but um, it's ready to go. And that didn't take any time, um, less than 30 minutes for the cornbread and the chili and uh, you can even put this in your crock pot let it simmer all day or uh, for a little while at least however you want to cook it but it's quick it's easy it's hearty and uh, it is delicious all right y'all know what time it is it is taste testing time it's uh russell's favorite time so come on in russ he's been waiting on it Waiting patiently for it. Hey, y'all. Can you use my right arm again? Yes, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, rehab's going good. Yep. Oh, uh, chili looks good. Chili is good, hopefully. Yeah, my, my good good out there. Got us some good good. This is my daddy's pickled peppers, y'all. He, he grows peppers every year, and we always usually get a jar or two. He, uh, All my kids keep them pretty much ate up, but I love them in my chili now. Yep. So. It goes really, really good with it. Get a little heat in there. Get and up. I like the cowboy candy, which is the sweet uh, jalapeno pickled peppers, but he don't care for the sweet as much. He just likes yeah, the like, savory. Like yeah, I like But um, here's your little, if you want some on top now, or? Uh, I'll just put it in when I eat the bowl. All right, and he's going to eat the whole bowl later. later. I appreciate my father-in-law making them pepper. That's, hey, that's putting love into it right there. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It looks good, it looks hot. Well, it uh, got a little. It hadn't been too long. Mm, got a little melting out of the, there. <laughs> out of the pot, out of the pot. Yep, I just shredded a little cheese on. Now I like mine with a little sour cream and got and a little um. Oh, y'all see that? Yep, got some. Got a little cornbread going on there on the plate. It looks good. I like to top mine real good, y'all. I even like the leftovers on like uh Fritos. I have a little cornbread in there. Some, I'm gonna make uh, a mess of it in a minute. Anyway. I like to make nachos out of mine, but go ahead. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That cheese pull. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Burn my face off. Um, Man, that's not too bad. Absolutely delicious. Got a little kick with the jalapeno. Yep. Yeah. It's uh, it's got good flavor. Real good flavor. Good and cheesy. Got cheesy. them beans mm -hmm. in it. It's right on time for fall and cooler weather, y'all. Yeah. Um, which some people like chili in the summertime. You know? They do. It is good. They have a lot of chili cook-offs and stuff like that. Yep, in the summertime. But, uh, ain't nothing that beats You can't beat a good old bowl of chili. No. Nowhere. Simple as that. I like it when it's cold and raining outside. Yeah, ain't yeah. nothing better. Mm -hmm. Nothing better. Especially just been letting it simmer and sit. <laughs> yes. Man. Just... Which, this didn't take long. It's no. It's still got good flavor. though. No. Really good flavor. Uh, less than 30 minutes yeah, this, to uh, throw good, this together. Really yep. Um, but they won't know you don't have lots and lots of love in yeah, it. Yeah, that tastes like it's got a lot of love, y'all. Lots of love, yes it mm -hmm. is. But um, it is delicious. It's quick and easy, and uh, it's really not too expensive either. You can get some uh, beans fairly cheap. But um, it's good for uh, a big you, family. Get you one of these big old cast iron skillets here, man. They, they come in handy. That's the best way to cook cornbread. Yep. It makes it good. Gives it it's good crunch. really good, yep. yep. But uh, we thank y'all for watching uh, this little video. And all of them. All of them, many, yes, yeah. yes. And, uh, those of you who haven't subscribed, if you're watching the videos and you like like what she's doing and like her recipes, go ahead and hit that subscribe. It don't, it don't, they don't send you no emails or you ain't got to no. go out of I, your way. You just, all you got to have is an email address. You I won't harass you, I promise. Nah, she won't, she won't buy you. <laughs> And, uh, I promise. But we do appreciate everything. Keep the ideas coming. Yeah, I've been yeah. getting lots of suggestions. Yep. Um, but thank y'all so much. From the bottom of my heart, I do appreciate it. And until next time, peace.